We know that Donald Trump hated Shep Smith. It was one of the main concerns that Trump appeared to have about Fox News not being sufficiently loyal towards him and his movement. And now as of just last week, Shep Smith is moseying on down that dusty trail. And so I'm curious as someone who spends a lot of time paying attention to Fox News, do you think that this is the end? Is this all they needed to do to reassure the president or you know, is a different head going to be on the chopping block at some point? And this was clearly um, the, the the last vestige of of uh, the news division for Fox. So they've they've relied on Shep Smith and they pointed to Shep Smith for for months, if not years, as the example of Fox's news division and how there was a firewall between the news division and the opinion side. And that's gone now. You have nothing. The closest you might get is Neil Cavuto, and he is just another cog in this propaganda machine. Um, Shep was it, that's all they had. And he shows that there is no room in Fox News for someone who can present the facts and report the news. That's just not their business model. Um, so yeah, it's it's, a, it's an appeasement move by Trump. This comes as he is repeatedly attacking them and talking about how he wants to switch to OANN, um, how he needs to find a more supportive and better news outlet. Um, this is really alarming because this is a network that's watched by millions of people every yeah. single night. And now you have no news reporting at all whatsoever. You just have pure opinion across the board. Well, one, one more question for you. I'm curious, what about what about Chris Wallace? I mean, Trump has complained about him before, and actually, you know, between Shep leaving and today, he had a couple of tweets about how he was, you know, nothing compared to his father and all of that. Um, do you think that Chris Wallace, uh, who is, I would say, less regularly critical of Trump than Shep was, but does occasionally acknowledge reality, um, is there a place for him at Fox News? Well, Chris Wallace, we found in Media Matters, Chris Wallace won't even go on uh, most of the other shows. Mm -hmm. The one show he felt comfortable with appearing on outside of his own, you know, Sunday show uh, was Shep's, and that's gone. And we tracked, you know, the past year he has really diminished his appearances on other shows. I think he's got a problem with the the opinion side, and he just won't he won't go on the shows anymore. So now you're going to have people who won't even. Who won't have any access if they're pure Fox viewers? Uh, they won't have any access to objective news reporting anymore. That's interesting. I actually did not know that he had uh, changed his uh, sort of guest habits. So uh, thank you for adding that, uh, Jordan Ewell. As always, love to have you on. Thanks again. Thank you for having me, John. Thank you for watching this clip from the Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.